EJ. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that little subscribe button in the, in the corner there. Um, today, we're just going to talk about some things that I've been making. Um, I just did a pattern review on Simplicity and I took off my sweater because I was hot. Um, anyways, um, I talked about that. I had a gift certificate I forgot about. I don't know if it's really a gift certificate or a, it, it, Barnes and Noble gave me it and it ex was going to expire tomorrow. And so I thought, let me go over and see what I can find. And I did find a book and it was the last copy they had at that location. So I was really happy to find it because I love to read and I'm into, you know, the whole, 1940s 1920s 1940s you know um stories and history i love it and so i've been kind of like reading that especially if it has to do with europe um i'm gonna move this back just a tad bit especially if it has to do with europe because i um i just i love europe and uh, i think that i belong there um seriously like i really think i belong in europe i know sounds a little crazy but i think i belong there anyway so i found the copy um, I ended up just having to put uh, three dollars uh, out of my money from to get the book because my little cards I had enough to cover most of it, and so I did that. Um, and here it is. It is the the Paris Orphan. Yeah, the Paris Orphan. I'm trying to read it, you know, through the lens. So yeah, um, I had read the Par this Paris Seamstress. Oh my God, that was so good. And then um, I saw this. I was looking for this because I wanted this copy. Actually, I wanted all the books. You know, that is dang. going to the bookstore is like putting me in the fabric store. I love to read and I love all the books. And since I found these books, I have just been wanting them um, like crazy, like crazy. Like, yeah, I love them. And, you know, the Paris seamstress was really, it was interesting. And because it was based off the, or the book, you know, had um, uh, Monte Paris there. And that's where I went. And it's just so beautiful there. And I can picture what they're talking about um, in the book, you know, because I've already gone to that. I've been to, you know, I went to Paris and then I went to, you know, I was staying in Monte, And that's near the, um... Moulin Rouge and so we were like in that vicinity and was able to walk everywhere I mean even if we even if it was a distance we walked because it just so much to intake and it's just so beautiful and you know just being in Paris I I love it and I cannot wait to be able to go again one day um and that is on my vision board yes I have a vision board and that is on my vision board like if I could if I had no debt and I had some money, I would literally go to Paris and stay there for a while, even move there, consider moving there, because it just feels so welcoming. The people are really friendly. Um, it just, you know, just to be able to get up and just walk, like I prefer to walk. Um, if I want to go to the store, like if I, like say I want to go to Starbucks, it's a mile away, I will walk rather than to drive. That's just how I am. Even if it's two miles, I will walk, especially in, you know, being in California, it's not too hot here. You can enjoy a walk and I won't get bit by mosquitoes like I did in Texas. Like that was the one thing I hated was that I couldn't even go outside because boom, mosquitoes just attacked me. You know, it just oh, it was so overwhelming, honestly, to be there and have mosquito bites. If the mosquitoes would go away in the humidity, I wouldn't have mind staying there. But the mosquitoes, like seriously, I couldn't even go out in the patio for one minute because then I'd have six to eight bites. And it, they're not they're not flattering whatsoever. They're disgusting and they're itchy and they're uncomfortable. And so anyway, let's get off of that. Anyway, so I was really happy that I found it because when I went, they had moved all the books around and I was like, oh, where are my books? Like, you know, where are they? Because they were on, they were right here. Now they're gone. So I had to wander around and yeah, I could have asked, but honestly, I love to just be there and just enjoy the books and see the different books that are there. And, you know, I'd rather just kind of find it on my own. And then when I found it, it was the last one there. And then I was like, after I found it, I asked the, the, the customer service if 
this was the last copy at that facility and she looked it up and she's like, yeah. And I said, okay, this is the one I'm taking because I had, excuse me, I had, um, other books in mind if I couldn't find this one, but then I found those ones too. And so it was really hard for me to make a decision and I literally had them all and I just looked at them and I was just like, who do I want to take with me today? I only have this card that covers this much. And so this was the least expensive one. And I only had to pay $3 out of my pocket. Well, it was two something. So $3 out of my pocket. And so I said, okay, this is going to be one. This is the one because this is the least expensive one. But gosh, I wish I could just buy all the books. If they ever do without books, I would go crazy. I don't like to read books on my tablet, nor do I like the audio. No, I want to fill the book because I feel like I'm connecting with the story. I don't know. I'm weird. I know. Anyways, let's get on. <laughs> I wanted to talk about some things that I've been making. Um, and I made another something. Okay. Um, do you remember that fabric? You remember the fabrics that my husband had chosen and a while back and um i did not have a clue what i was going to make i asked y'all's opinion what to do with these fabrics that I had i had well you saw the tote bag i made up in the seashells um that turned out pretty nice and i actually sent that to my granddaughter because she loves seashells she loves the beach and she's in texas and she'd do anything to come here and go to the beach and just you know when they were when she was little and my kids were younger that was one of the things we would do. We would go to the beach, we would go to Laguna, and we would kind of sit on the rocks and we just sit there and just see the little the dolphins. And I mean, it, it was just so relaxing. And and she'd just be playing. And you know, yeah, you know, it, it's just really nice. Even though my allergies didn't approve, uh, I still went <laughs> just because it's just so relaxing and it just felt so good. Um. So, anyways. And she remembered those times, so um, yeah. So I sent her the tote. <laughs> I was trying to see what was I getting and where was I going with this story. Um, so I um, and she wanted it. I asked her if she wanted it. She's like, yes, you know. So I sent it to her. Um, I know she's going to enjoy it. So the next one I made, and I honestly really like absolutely love this tote, um, and I feel that. I don't know. I'm, I, I I like. I know I need to put it up. I put it up on Etsy, and I know that it needs to sell because, uh, you know, I I'm unemployed, and this is my means of making money. Um, but I honestly want to keep this tote. I really do. I love it. I love the way that it looks, and I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it. But this, look at this, guys. Look at this gorgeous tote. Like, oh my God, it just screams. Well, now you can't see it because I'm so short, but it just screams Gucci to me. This looks like a sophisticated coat, coat, tote, doesn't it? I mean, look at it. it I think that this, these two fabrics, I feel like this one really made it just be like, bam, look at me. And it just looks so sophisticated. It looks so smart. It looks, you know, yeah. And the thing about these, this tote is that it's reversible. And the other side, you know, if you don't want to see all of that, too much of that, right? And you want to see the inside rather than, then here you go. Look, I'm going to put it over just because I want you to see the tote. And then look, and you just have little specks of it, right? And I just feel like this just came out so nice, you guys. Like, I'm at awe. Like, seriously, I'm at awe. I really, really like this tote. And I told my husband, I said, look what I did with that fabric you cho you you picked out. And uh, he said, so I did good. And I said, well, no, because it took me a while to figure out what to do with it, um, first of all. And so, second of all, I feel like this screams Gucci. Like, it just screams Gucci to me. It looks so nice. And I didn't think that fabric could be turned into something beautiful. But here is the proof. Look at this. You know, I could just go to Barnes & Noble and just buy all the books and just put them all in there, right? Wow. You know, because we don't get bags anymore. And if you want a bag, you have to pay for it. So why not? And the thing that I like about this is that it has these really big pockets. 
on the outside, two on the outside, and two on the inside. So if you went reversed, you still have those pockets. And it's such a sturdy bag. It, it's so, it's sturdy, it's strong. And I, you know, I love this tote. I really, really do. And I'm glad that I made it up. Um, you know, it's just one of those days where you want to sew, you don't know what to sew. And then I, I put these two, when I put this, I initially had this for something else, for a different project. Um, but when I put it together, I was like, N -n you know what? I think this will be, I think this will look really, really nice made up in this tote. And so I took a chance and made it up and I made this yesterday and here we go. Like, here we go. I, and you know what? I enjoy making this tote and they do have a smaller version, but I don't think the smaller version will do the tote justice. I think this tote is made to be big like this, honestly. And I like it. I like it big like this. And, um, yeah, so this is the other thing I've been making. And then I started, after I was done with that, I was kind of bored. And then I was like, what else am I going to do? I, uh, went through all of my patterns, even the cut ones. And when I first started buying patterns, um, I forgot how to read them because I hadn't bought patterns in a very, very long time. Like when I say long, I mean long, long time, years, centuries. Um, so I forgot how to read them and I would cut them to my size of what my, what you would wear, your ready wear size, you know? And so those I'm going to go ahead and just donate to Goodwill because obviously that's not my size and maybe somebody will buy them. I was going to offer them for a dollar, uh, cause some, some are, are cut to a size six and some are cut, cut to a size eight. Um, but then I was like, you know, who's going to want to buy cut up patterns, even though it's all there, um, that's cut to that specific size. Uh, so I feel like I'm just going to put, you know, put the pattern pieces because as you know, when I do my patterns, I put them in these vanilla envelopes. So I'm just going to take them out, put them back in their little package and then just donate them to Goodwill and somebody will want them. I'll just put right there, cut pattern. That way they know, um, you know, they don't blindly buy it because I'm going to tape it. Although probably at Goodwill, they'll probably untape it. Who knows? Anyways, so I have a stack of that, of those that I'm about to, uh, again, donate. And then the ones I offered for sale, I'll put a card up here so you could see I still have some patterns that are for sale. So if you're interested, you know, you would really help me out. Um, and I, I will get them out to you as soon as possible. Um, but anyways, you can see my bookshelves here. Uh, I had that shelf full of patterns. Well, that's gone. And then the bottom, I had cut patterns and half of that is gone. And now I feel comfortable. Um, and I got to show you something. So I'm going to kind of move over here just really quick. So I made this box and I made it to put my patterns in, right? I mean, because if you look, I don't like how that looks on the bottom. It just looks sloppy to me and I don't like it. So I was going to make these boxes. And I was going to, because I made this one. Isn't it pretty? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. So I made this box and I thought, you know what? I'm going to make one and I'm going to put my patterns in here. And then I'll just have a little um, tag letting me know what patterns are in there. So I'll show you the tags that I have. So see these cute little tags that I made? I'm going to put a little hoe in there and then I'm going to put a little... Um, I forget what the heck that's called. But well, I'll put a little string in there and then I'll just kind of let it, I'll probably put a paper clip, one of these paper clips to hold it because I don't want to drill a hole or put tape on here. And then it'll tell me what pattern's in here, you know? So I think that's what I'm going to do. But the only thing I'm going to do different is I'm going to make them wider um, than this because this, um, I have my mail in here and then I have some of my cardstock that, you know, that I do with my crafting. So that's kind of what I put inside this one. Uh, here's the inside. And I thought, you know what? Instead of that, and I love butterflies, you guys. I love butterflies. Um, I think, let me put this back. So see how that looks? That looks really neat, right? Um, and so imagine having some really pretty, you know, color coordinated uh, boxes there to put your patterns in. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to make them, but I'm going to make them wider. So that way I could stick more in there. And um, then I'm also gonna do some like just for my craft, uh, my PDF craft patterns and then PDF sewing patterns. 
I'm gonna put make that make some for that. Um, that will all be the PDF patterns and stuff, and then one for just for crafts, and then the other ones are going to be, of course, for all of my um, patterns that I have for like simplicity, butter rig, vogue, all that good stuff. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. But I thought that I mean I love the way that it looks with the box there. I don't like how it looks with just the pattern sitting there. It just I don't know. I just don't like that. So that's going to be my new way of storing it. And I, I've got my stuff laid out. I've uh, cut these little tags out yesterday and I cannot wait to make them. I also made, let me show you. I'm like so proud of myself because, you know, sometimes I'm just here and I, I don't, sometimes I'll, I, you know, I want to sew, I want to sew garments, but I don't have enough fabric to sew um, garments, like the garments I want to make. So I sit here and I'm like, oh, well, I'll just do my paper crafts and my hair's doing something funky here. Um, so um, I was playing with my paper crafts and I thought, oh my God, look how, look how adorable this money envelope is, is cash envelope. Isn't that cute? And then you kind of save for here. And I thought, you know, I offered this on my Etsy. So these are not your normal size. These are bigger and I'll show you, uh, let me get the other one. These are the normal size I make, okay? And you'll see that that's a lot bigger. So I have two of these listed on um, Etsy and they're these two right here. Um, and I thought, you know what? And you'll see, this is the back of that one. And then this is just like this. And what I did is I took my cardstock that you saw in there and I took my stamps and I put here, you know, that's your dream. These are your goals to either save for a new sewing machine or maybe a dress form, but this is gonna make you so happy that you have money to save. So, you know, you know, taking out, maybe you sold something, maybe you, uh, I don't know, have an, a dollar here or there and you want to improve your, you maybe want a new overlocker or a serger or a new sewing machine. I know I want a new sewing machine. I want a lot of things. And you know, isn't that funny? When you, you're an employee and you have no money, you want everything. And then when you have the job, you're just like, no, I can't get that right now. Um, so eventually when I do get a job, I'm going to try to take like $5 or so out, out of each check and I'm going to put it in my cash envelope and I'm going to save that so that I can get this new sewing machine that I want. I have the destiny here. However, the destiny isn't made to do handbags and I really enjoy making handbags and there are other things I want to make. But she, no, you know, yeah, she and I are not on good terms right now. She kept breaking all of my needles, and I told her, you know, look, I'm not made of money, and I don't have this, you know, the Microtex needles. I don't have money to buy those, so you need to quit breaking them. And even though I clean her out every time I use her, and there's no need for her to be breaking them, but she's just stubborn. So I told her, well, I'm gonna have to buy some. I'm gonna have to buy someone new, um, even though. You know, I'll use her for other things, you know, maybe my garments. I do have my Rachel, which is still brand new. I think I used her twice before my husband got the Destiny for me. And I don't even know why he got the Destiny because I was happy with Rachel. Um, and Rachel was small and portable. And this, this monstrous thing is, is just too big. And I can't, if I wanted to go somewhere with her, I, it, it's just too much. Like she's too much. And then she's got a big luggage. Like if she's traveling, like seriously, where are you going? You know, just a sewing machine. Anyway, so I made these little cash envelopes so that I could sew. I mean, so I could sew so that when I get a job, I can save money for that new machine that I want. And I want an industrial machine, yes. And then I made these, and these ones, I don't think I posted them on, on my Etsy page yet, but look at that, isn't that cute? Little scissors and little heart buttons, you know, again, this is for if you wanna save, and again, you don't even have to, you don't have to use it to save for a sewing machine. You could literally use it to save for whatever you want, you know, um, this cash envelope opens on this end. But, you know, I did all these little designs just to make them different because I went and I looked on Etsy. I did not see nothing so cute like this. These cash envelopes, excuse me. I did not see anything like that. There were more like this, but without the punches that I did here. See, even these, I made them have a little design. And these are on my Etsy. There's four of them, I believe. I don't know. They're different colors. So, yeah, these you could say for whatever. And I'm... Making some more, and I also put these tags on there. So even if 
you know, for me, I'm going to use some for my, my boxes to label them and just, they're just going to look super cute. And then, um, also if, whenever I get to go and, uh, rent a booth at the flea market, that's how I'm going to price my stuff. I'm going to laminate these and so they'll be reusable. So I just write on them and then I can erase them, you know, with one of those, what are they called? Raceable markers. I don't know what they're called. Anyway, um, and so that's the purpose of why I made these. So all, I made a lot and I'm going to laminate them. And then I'm going to, um, again, let, use some for here to label my thingies. And then I'm going to use some for when I go to the flea market and sell my stuff. I'll be able to just use this and then put the price on there. And then when they purchase it, I'll take it off. So, you know, um, easy peasy, right? So yeah, these are listed if you're interested in some tags or if you know how to make them, then you know there's an idea if you didn't know what to do. Um, if you sell your items, that's super cute, right? Um, but yeah, so these are the things that I, I'm loving the tote. Again, I, I don't even want to part with that. If someone buys it, I'm probably going to cry. Well, I'll be happy because I need the money, but I'm going to cry because I really, really like this that I probably will make my husband go back and find this fabric because and this one because yeah i i am in love with this this is this is so sophisticated so gucci so yeah like and I, yeah and i showed my husband he was like wow that looks so nice like i posted that and got some compliments and then i um you know showed my family well my kids and some some people that i know and they're like wow that's nice like that's really nice um, and yeah, I know it is, but I don't, I want to keep it. Honestly, I want to keep it. I, I feel like that is so cute to go and go shopping with, you know, to, or even to just take to the flea market or even just to use it as your everyday totes, you know, um, I know whenever I was working, I would take my lunch and then I'd have my lunch bag and my purse and this, and, you know, other things that I wanted to take. This is perfect to just put your, everything in there. You catch all, right? Put your lunch bag in there. Put your book if you're going to take a book. Whatever you're going to take for the day, take it. I was even thinking of adding a snap to the top of the next one that I make, you know, or make like a little thingy like this, but I don't know. I don't know yet. I'm still playing with the idea. I may make a smaller, the smaller one, and then do play with that. Maybe alter it a little bit. Maybe even put a snap or put that little thingy over to keep it closed. But this is, I, I don't know. I just feel like that's meant to be like that. Like that looks like, you know what I mean? So anyways, let me get this cash envelope that found. If you are interested in my cash envelopes, I am posting them or listing them on my Etsy page. Um, so I have the bigger ones, so those are gonna be a little bit more than the smaller ones. Um, and the only reason why I did them like this is because, I don't know why I did them like this, but I did. But you know, you wanna save to make your, you know, for your fabrics or sewing machine or dress form or whatever, here you go. Um, and then again, here are the smaller ones and here's the cute little fab or little butterflies. And, and then in the back, it has like, imagine, love, believe, achieve, you know? So yeah, you want to achieve that sewing machine, right? Or that fabric stick. So yeah, this is my little cash envelopes that I'm making. And I'll be making more with some more cute little stamps and then I'll be posting them. And I also probably will make some, I probably will, will put some of these with the stamp as well like i have a lot of cute little stamps i love crafting you guys like i do like maybe put oh so happy or i don't know a sewing machine i don't know i have a lot of different things that i can put here and um, so i'll make some that have it and some that don't that way you know you can do whatever you want um but i feel that yeah so you'll see there's some different sizes that i did so here's this size and the money fits in this size and it fits in this size as well this is your standard size so you're going to see the different sizes here. Let me kind of let you see the different sizes. So, you know, whatever you want, you can choose. Um, if you wanted to have them where you could punch holes and then stick them in your binder. So that way you have it there. We can do that as well. I prefer them to be like this. That's just my, uh, my preference because 
I, I tell you, when I was working, I would take money and just stick them in these envelopes and um, I would stash them throughout my house, my, my room, my, my house, right? So, um, and some back in the day, I would put them in a, um, safe, a waterproof fire, fireproof safe. And then I would know, okay, this one is for this, this is for this and whatever. But when I lived in Austin and I was working or I would sell things that extra money, because I also make bracelets guys. So here's some ones that I have. This is a mother of pearl. This is clear quartz. And they have little spacers. I don't know if you could see that one. This one has this. Um, so if I would sell my bracelets, I would put one in there. And that would be all the money I made for my bracelets. Um, sometimes I needed like five envelopes because these sold. Uh, these the I, I don't only make this kind. I make different one, different beads. And they're all, they're natural healing beads. And so they're good quality as well. Um, but I would make, I would sell a lot of, of bracelets. And so I would put that money away and um, wallets, I would, any money that I made off my crafts, I would put them in these and just put them away. Um, and so when the rainy day hit me, I had money to fall back on still until that ran out. So now I have nothing. <laughs> now I'm trying to build something. I need money for my little envelopes here. But, um, these are just samples that I put out there. If you order them, uh, I, if you want the big ones, I will give you the big sizes. If you want this size, Actually, I'm gonna make some of this size, and I'll probably uh, put it as an put it under one one thing because they charge you per listing on Etsy. It's like twenty cents per listing, and I have so many great ideas that it would I would just end up owing Etsy my life if I did that. So I uh, I don't know how I'm gonna list it on there. I'll have to see. I think there's like a if I have one, there's like a drop down that I can add like the sewing one, which would be this you know in this size. I don't know. We'll see how I, I figured that thing out. And then I did list the little tags, which I'm about to laminate now. Punched a little hole in there so that you can hit that. I think it's twine. I'm going to use twine and I'm going to kind of tape it there on my boxes. But I'm in the process of trying to figure out. I have my papers over here. I have a lot of paper. And, you know, it's so hard because all the paper is so pretty. I don't want to cut into it. But I know it'll look really cool there with my patterns in there. I think it'll look really nice and it'll give my space a different look. It won't look so messy. I feel like that looks so messy right there. And I need that to go away. And then hopefully, well, that's, that's you know, you see my fabric on my desk over there. I had to buy wood a while back and it was like $6 because there, that gap in the back of the desk, everything would fall. So I bought a piece of wood and just laid it on top of my desk, but it still had like the splinters cause it was raw piece of wood. It still had the, you know, it's not finished. So I would get splinters. And so I put fabric over it and I'm hoping that I could sand it down and paint it eventually. Um, but that saves me from buying something new. But anyways, you didn't want to hear that. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been up to. Cute little tags. If you didn't think about this, uh, laminate them and then you could reuse them if you sell your items or if you want to label things like I'm going to label my boxes that I make. Uh, for my my patterns back here so that's gonna be super cute like that and then um, then I have my little cash envelopes which I thought was cute and as soon as I can again I get a job I'm gonna start putting my money in for my industrial sewing machine that I want I at first I was thinking I wanted I think it was a Juki uh, but after I did some further research I found this one um, and I don't remember the name but I saved it I found this um, industrial sewing machine that you could also make garments out of so you can sew the cottons and you could sew jeans and you can make pants um, so you could use it for everything not just heavy material I mean that thing sewed through like a stack of leather and I'm like yes that's the one I want and you could see the videos and them doing it um, I wish destiny wouldn't act a fool but she keeps breaking my needles because I really want to make some more product you know that's what i'm trying to do is fill my etsy store bring products so that when i do and if i do sell the flea market i have product not just one tote bag you know well this bag actually she i could sew on there because it's not that thick um and it doesn't have hardware and what i've been sewing with is vinyl and i have some leather that i want to make some things with but i'm afraid 
because um I don't know what Destiny's gonna do back here. And I don't want to ruin my leather. I already did a wallet and I don't like how it looks. I, I don't like how it looks. And I'm like, I'm not gonna sell this. So that was a waste of that leather. And I may just take that wallet apart and just use that, probably use sections of that like for tabs and stuff like that. But yeah, Destiny's not, she's not made for um, making bags. Uh, I can make these totes. I can make things that are not thick, thick on her, even using my walking foot because the needle keeps breaking and I replaced the, the top, the plate, because that was all bent and it had scratches on it. And it said that if that was like that, it would, I don't know why it would break the needle, but if it had scratches, Destiny would act up. So I replaced the plate because um, it came with extra. And then um, I cleaned her all out put a new a new needle and she still breaks and so I don't know what the heck her problem is I think she needs to be taken in um so with that being said I don't know if I want to sew right now because she's acting a fool I kind of just want to pack her up um because I might have to move anyways and and if that's the case at least she'll be packed up and I want to bring Rachel out I am going to sell my Kenmore um, my vintage Kenmore and my vintage Kenmore also comes with, let me go get it. It's a really good sewing machine and he sews really nicely, but I don't, uh, you know, I just, I have so, my life is complicated that I don't want to have all these things moving around everywhere. And I do have a brand new singer serger if you guys are in the la area or if you want to pay for shipping you know i will let that go as well i have a brand new singer pro is it the singer pro um serger i had bought it at joann's but then shortly after i got the vibrant so i just packaged that up i don't i think i used it three times and so it's literally brand new um but the the my vintage kenmore You'll see him in my intro. That is my vintage Kenmore. He actually comes with bobbins, his own little set of bobbins. And then he also comes with this kit. He has his own button, his button kit, as you can see. And he has some different feet in there. Um, he also has a different little needle name plate or needle plate. But yeah, he has the zipper foot. Um, yeah, he has a lot of different little feats in here. Uh, and he's got his little, I don't know if you could see that. His little Kenmore, Kenmore thingy. So yeah, uh, his little screwdrivers are in here. But yeah, he comes with this. And his little bobbins. So I'm thinking I want to sell him. And he has his hard shell case. And he's there. I also have a Nietzsche, but she's too darn heavy. You'd have to live locally to buy her because she she costs a fortune to, to ship. Uh, she does need to get um, maintenance, but the Kenmore, you know, I just sewed on him and he did wonderfully. But again, I just need to, I need, I need the money and I need to reduce my, by sewing machine hoarding here because uh i have a lot well i have one two three one two i have four and nietzsche she needs maintenance and she's too darn heavy so i don't know you have to live local to la to be able to buy her and then the kenmore i think you know again i think shipping might be kind of expensive for him so but yeah i'm gonna list him on craigslist and sell him and he comes with that stuff and then I had the Singer Serger Pro, I think it's the Pro, Pro Finish or something like that. Um, that's brand new that I need to sell. So I'm gonna sell that one. Um, yeah, so I have a lot of things that I need to sell and I'm gonna sell that and see what happens, you know? Keep my fingers crossed. But anyway, I just wanted to share with you the tote and the little things that I made, the little cash envelopes, little tags, give you some ideas. Uh, my little box idea back there that I'm going to finish making. And I will show you those when that is updated. When I'm done and it's ready, I will uh, do a video and show you my updated shelf with my patterns and how they look in there, all right? Well, you have a great week and we'll talk soon.